high margin, meaning your worst market conditions that you can imagine, they're still going to survive, and they have a big enough mine life, they're a big enough deposit that you can get multiple market cycles. So why don't you take it from there, Jorge? I think that's certainly something Absolutely. that's on people's in minds right now with silver seeing one of its bear market cycles. So what could you say there? Well, hello there, my friends. Chris Mark is here with you for Arcadia Economics, and I am joined today by Jorge Ramiro Monroy of Reino Silver, who's going to give us an update, bit of an overview, but also the latest news and developments at Reino Silver. So, Jorge, welcome on in. It's great to see you here as always. Thank you, Chris. It's great to see you, and thank you for giving us an opportunity to talk about our company in your YouTube channel, which I follow. Uh, every day and, and congratulate you because it's great work uh, getting the word out for silver and I always enjoy all the content that you put out so thank you. Well I sure appreciate that seems like quite a historic time in the world with all the things going on I might add Putin did just to some degree reintroduce gold as money so we'll see where that leaves silver although again to recap really the focus of what you were doing with Raina Silver it's interesting, a nice presentation by Lauren McGaw at the recent Metals Investors Forum. So I'm going to play a little snippet of here and then you can take it from there. Yes, please. The focus for Reina Silver is to look for projects that have the chance to be high margin, meaning your worst market conditions that you can imagine, they're still going to survive and they have a big enough mine life, they're a big enough deposit that you can get multiple market cycles. So why don't you take it from there, Jorge? I think that's certainly something Absolutely. that's on people's in minds right now with silver seeing one of its bear market cycles. So what could you say there? No, absolutely. Look, I, I want to tell you, Chris, and everybody who's listening, you know, why would you would look at investing in a company like Raina Silver. What really is driving silver right now is, of course, a number of factors like inflation, uh, you know, the incredible amount of debt. Uh, there's also on the industrial side an increasing in almost every form of uh, silver demand, whether it's, you know, monetary, whether it's jewelry, solar panels, um, you know, also for healthcare uh, purposes, electric vehicles. So there's a lot in favor of silver. At the same time, on, on terms of the primary silver, the companies that produce silver, are going through a couple of challenges. Number one, you can see that companies like First Majestic, Pan American Silver, uh, Endeavor Silver are having to, Fortuna Silver, uh, are having to go and buy gold projects. The reason for that is not because they don't believe in silver and they want to buy silver projects, but they simply aren't any that are large enough and that have high grade enough for a big company to be able to make a difference. So really what we're single-mindedly focused on is on making those discoveries that will be high-grade silver, as Lauren said, high-grade margin, because that's very important. And then that will give us the opportunity to stand for a number of cycles. And to be able to do that, you really need to put two things together. Number one, the right technical team with the right asset and with a third component, which is you know, with capital to, to be able to advance the projects and that's why you would invest in grain and silver you know we put together all those components we've we have a company that is exploring three major districts each one of them we believe has the potential for being a high grade district scale mine uh, these are projects that are a combination of brownfield and greenfield they're set around you know projects that and districts that were historically you know big high grade producers, but that have had very little to none uh, exploration in modern times. So we're using modern technology to, to try to find something big. And then the third component is, you know, we're, we've partnered with Peter McGaw, who is the co-founder of Max Silver, arguably one of the most successful exploration geologists uh, in Mexico for silver over the last 20 years. His biggest claim to fame, fame is the Juanicipio discovery, which is about to go into full scale production in Mexico as the highest grade silver mine anywhere in the world. So we believe that we put together something very unique and, uh, and that's uh, our value proposition to investors. 
we have three projects. We have um, uh, Gigi and but Gigi and Batopilas in Mexico. These are the two projects that came originally from Max Silver. And we've been drilling there for the past uh, year. At, at Gigi, we've done almost 20,000 meters of drilling. It's our flagship project. It's uh, what we call, like to call the missing half of the Santolalia district, a district that produced half a billion ounces of silver. And we believe that you know, the, the scar portion of the system, as well as potentially some continuation to the Chibni mantle part of the systems are yet to be discovered. So we've completed phase one and two of drilling and made what we believe are significant discoveries. We intersected scar mineralization for the first time in that particular part of, of the district, which we control. We found uh, a very significant size intrusive. We also found a mineral closer to surface that is consistent with the chimney mantle part of the system and in which the old timers used as a guide to, to make the discovery. So we feel we're narrowing into what we think is something very significant. We're about to start phase three of drilling, which is gonna be 8,000 meters. And then about Topilas, which is historically the, the highest grade silver mine in the history of Mexico, produced 300 million ounces of silver at 1.5 kilos per ton. That's significantly higher than the average grade of production nowadays. It's a project that, you know, all that production that I described to you happened without uh, hardly any drilling. They just find a vein and started chasing it and put it in production. It's native silver, so it's a type of silver that, you know, it's it's uh, not crystallized into the rock, so you don't have to process it chemically. The old timers just used, you know, crushing gravity and then straight to the gold room. So it was significantly cheap to produce, and uh, not only high grade but also, um, you know, significantly cheaper to produce. At Batupilas, you know, we drilled up, drilled about three thousand, sorry, seven thousand meters, and what we discovered was multiple extensions to the historic veins. We found native silver both at surface in very high grades and with drilling with mineable widths of high grade native silver. And then Chris, very interestingly, we found gold for the first time in the property, even though it's been in production for close to 400 years. And the gold zone is actually quite significant in size. You know, the, the vein at surface goes for about 400 meters and we've drilled at various locations and found mineable widths of gold. We're going to continue drilling at Batopilas. We still have another 3,000 meters to complete phase one. And then Medicine Springs, which is in Nevada. It's a project that we put together uh, just as we went public. The basis of it is a very small historic silver mine. Uh, you see the head frame of, of it in our presentation. It produced a very small amount of silver, but a very high grade. And then in the 80s, somebody went and, and, and did superficial drilling, about 250 drill holes uh, close to the historic uh, mine. And they intersected high-grade silver, but very shallow and not the kind of uh, silver we're looking for. But we, um, Peter McGowan, and had an opportunity to look at this project in 2020 and found all the hallmarks at surface for what you look for in a high-grade and district-scale CRD project. And we're starting, we're gonna drill this project uh, for the first time this fall. So very excited to do that. We have some incredible targets that came through a very big Jasper survey that we did. Jasper is a type of rock that typically, you know, when, when the earth sends the minerals to the surface, the Jasper is, is let's say the, the last uh, remaining piece of rock that, that will come, you know, through that, uh, uh, sort of movement forward of the fluids. And Chris, what we found is, uh, you know, high grade silver on the Jasper, it's, that's a very strong indication that, that, you know, if the exhaust part of the system has high grade, it's a very strong indication that that could be the same case uh, at depth. So very excited to prove that through our drilling this fall. So as you can see a very unique company, we have three projects, all of them have a tremendous uh, potential. And, you know, please do keep, um, track of our company and the project, the, the, the progress of our projects. And uh, like I always offer Chris and all his listeners, we do have a, a fantastic book <clears throat> that was written about our project Patopilas in Mexico. It's a book that's written about the history of, of the Patopilas mine and how we came 
into production in the late 1800s. As Chris uh, was pointing out uh, when we were speaking earlier, it gives you a sense of you know, just how difficult it is to find these deposits in those days. So if you think about it, when you, if, if you do want a copy, send me uh, your address and I'll send you a copy. And when you read it, you'll get a good sense of you know, how difficult it was in those days to find silver. Yet they will manage to find 300 million ounces, a <laughs> kilo per ton silver and above. So we're using modern technology. Uh, this project hasn't been touched practically since 1910, 1912. And, um, you know, we've already, with the 7,000 meters that we've done, we've made you know, significant strides in understanding what controls the project. And, you know, our objective here is to find something that's at least as big as what the old timers were uh, mining. So if you do want a copy of the book, it's called The Silver Magnet. Send me an email to Jorge at Reina Silver or, or info at RainaSilver.com, and I'd be very happy to send you a copy. So that those are you know the the main uh, points uh, for our company, Chris. Don't know if you have any any questions or, or last comments. Well, yeah, just that I appreciate what you're saying because as I was reading the silver magnet, it just struck me about how long we've been mining yet without a lot of the equipment we have today. So if you're able to find where things got shut down for one reason or another that you can get a better angle at today. Certainly that you have Peter McGaw who was involved with finding the mag silver deposit helps a lot. And Jorge, perhaps just uh, you can let people know the website and uh, we'll have your email down in the contact as well. But for people who have questions, want to find out more about the project and just give the website one more time, please. Yeah, it's a, it's www.reinasilver.com. That's R E y n a silver.com actually the, the the website has great information about each of the projects if you go to the media portion of the of the website there's a lot of videos we have virtual site visits to the videos um, and there's also a contact us section where you can send me an email it'll forward straight into my email account happy to send you a copy of the book but also happy to answer any questions so if you want to uh, any more information about the company, happy to speak with anyone who might be interested. Yeah, and you also have that great video of Bato Pilas as the mining district yes. and some of the history there, which, especially for someone like myself who is learning more about the mining side, I found quite interesting and helpful. And for anyone who would like to find out a little bit more to hear the rest of that interview with Lauren McGaw talking about the project, well, that one is coming your way now. Mm -hmm.